I just turned 50 a few weeks ago and you know when you come into this part or this chapter of your life sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating because everything is so youth centered and you know you hear oh my gosh I hear my younger friends talking about oh my gosh I'm gonna be 30 or I'm gonna be 40 and you're like well I'm a whole lot older than that <laughs> and um, so you just don't know what to expect and there's so many things that happen to you in terms of like health wise in terms of body wise and um, there's almost like this whole like intimidation about it because you just don't know uh, what to expect but it's been pretty cool so far in order to to live well and age well you have to really take care of yourself and that's not just from a physical perspective but it's like mind body and spirit so I really want to be consistent about that because it's so easy to get distracted with everything that's going on externally that you don't have any time to really focus on you. So I'm working with George Griffith from Surfside. Um, he has me on a program. So I met with him and um, he took me through some of the things that, we have, that I'm going to be doing, you know. It was a whole it didn't just, he didn't just give me a program, say, okay, I want you to do 20 squats a day or whatever, you know. Um, he took me through this whole thing with looking at my resting metabolic rate, you know. Have a look, I'll show you. Well, Kathy, she took me through the whole thing where I had to lay down for like nine minutes and then they saw what, you know, my resting metabolic rate was. Your heart, your lungs, your internal organs working, you aren't running, you aren't doing anything, that's why you couldn't type on your phone. Right. So that's what it takes for your body basically to stay alive in this moment. Uh. But if you eat that amount of calories, 1886, every day, your body will stay the same. We're all about trying to lose the body fat. Right. So you're going to drop that down below 1886 by around 100 or 200 calories. Okay. If you eat more than that, you put on weight. If you eat less than that, you lose the body fat again. Okay. Um, and then on the machine, it was just like, you know, you had to be running and you know, testing your oxygen levels and there's a lot that goes into it. It's not just, you know, as I said, give me, drop and give me 20, so much more to it. They were okay. <laughs> they were alright. They were, um, you know, I guess I've always kind of exercised and, you know, you, you go through these things where, you know, you are exercising and you're, you know, you, you're trying to get fit and then you fall off the wagon. Um, so I think I was able to, you know, do pretty okay. And then they gave me a nutrition program as well. So yeah, so that was what, that's what the first week has been like. George is pretty good about, um, you know, not trying to overdo and, and, you know, like my knees are like, not great from the time I was a kid. So he's been conscious of that and working. You know, this is like the first week, so it's just really been a lot of testing and seeing where I'm at. So I think when I get into um, further down the road, then we'll really have a better idea. What I like about this is just, it's not a one size fits all program. It's a, uh, okay Natasha, this is your body, this is your body type. This is what your body can do, this is, how, much, how many calories you need to eat if you want to lose weight. Because yes, I may want, I want to lose weight, but at the same time, I want to be physically fit and toned and strong because I think that really helps well as you get older, right? You have to be conscious of things like bone density and you know, all, all those things are things that I'll be, we'll be looking at over the next few weeks, you know? Because um, a big part of when you get this age, especially as a woman, you're dealing with perimenopause and menopause and the fact that you're losing hormones and who knew that losing hormones or you're dropping hormones had such an impact on levels of anxiety which for the last few years for me have been totally like off the charts in terms of like the emotional up and down and swing and so I started to do some research and I think that's really one of the reasons why I decided that I'm going to do this journey and I'm going to you know maybe share it with other people because 
there are people who seem to be going through the same thing and not understanding well, why am I feeling this way. Then there's also a specialist as a place now that deals specifically with women's health called BioConnect. So I'll be talking to them. Um, so I'm looking at things like acupuncture, things like yoga, massages, all the different things, you know, going, getting outside, but exercise is huge. And even what you eat actually impacts your mood. So like, you know, making sure that I cut down on the wine, because you know, <laughs> apparently alcohol is not great for this. Um, and you know, just really just trying to figure out how to get your mind right. I'm going on the meditative side for sure. I'll be including that because there's an, actually an app that I downloaded that was like free for a year called Balance. And I was never a great meditator because I always used to be like, you know, you, you start to like, mm, and then all of a sudden your brain is going all over the place. Um, but it starts you off at like three minutes and then five minutes. So it's actually, and it has, you know, it's, it was hard to start again at, in the beginning but it's actually you know, been really helpful and I've gotten a lot better at it and it really impacts your day. 50 fit, what is that? It really is not just about being physically fit, it's about an overall like wellness and health at this age now that I've turned 50. I just wanna make sure that I'm, you know, looking at taking care of myself and being fit whether mentally, physically, you know, spiritually, overall, because the truth is, is that, you know, as you get older, um, it's just easy to just let yourself go and not really think long term down the road that, about, you know, how your life can be if you don't take care of yourself. So it's a journey, it's something that I want to share because I think there are a lot of people, a lot of women, especially, who, um, you know, maybe struggling, because I've had my own struggles. So I've done some research, I've tried to figure out how to make sure that, you know, um, I'm doing this getting older thing um, in a way that is gonna be, benefit me down the road. So I just wanted to share what I've learned and what I'm doing. And so the, for those who are interested, they'll come along for the ride.